Today's topic is emphysema. Emphysema is a chronic lung condition involving damage to the alveoli, the tiny air sacs in the lung which allow for rapid gaseous exchange, or the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules to and from the bloodstream. There are about 3 million alveoli in the normal lungs. The alveoli stretch as we breathe in air, drawing oxygen in and transporting it to the blood. The alveoli shrink when we exhale, forcing carbon dioxide out of the body. With emphysema, the lining of the alveoli becomes damaged beyond repair. With this damage, the inner wall of the alveoli weakens and ruptures, resulting in larger air spaces rather than the many tiny ones. The surface area of the lungs becomes reduced, and in turn, the amount of oxygen reaching the bloodstream, making it harder to breathe. Also, during exhalation, old air becomes trapped, leaving no room for fresh and oxygen-rich air to enter the body. Emphysema is one of the two most common types of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. The other major COPD condition is chronic bronchitis. Possible complications of emphysema include heart failure, collapsed lungs, large holes in the lungs. Causes the major cause of emphysema is long-term exposure to irritants, including smoking. This is the number one factor. Studies show that smokers are about six times more likely to develop the condition than non-smokers. Air pollutants in the home and workplace, such as chemical fumes and dust. Genetic factors, such as alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Or respiratory infections. Factors that may increase the risk of developing the condition. Incessant smoking. Age. Exposure to secondhand smoke. Working or living in areas exposed to high pollution. Chemical fumes. Symptoms. Some people experience a condition for many years without any symptoms. If symptoms exist, they may include shortness of breath, coughing, especially during exercise and physical exertion, other symptoms include weight loss, exhaustion, rapid heartbeat. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical history, asking in particular if you are a smoker or if you are always around hazardous fumes or pollutants at work or at home. Various tests that can help detect the condition include blood tests to determine how well your lungs transfer oxygen and remove carbon dioxide from your body, lung function tests to determine how much air your lungs can hold and how well the air flows in and out of your lungs, pulse oximetry to measure the oxygen content of your blood, imaging tests such as CT scan, chest x-ray, treatment. The damage associated with the condition can't be reversed, but treatment options can help relieve symptoms and slow down the progression of the condition. Treatment options include medications, bronchodilators to help relax constricted airways, making breathing easier, and relieving coughing and shortness of breath, antibiotics to fight the infections that can worsen your condition, inhaled steroids to help relieve shortness of breath, therapy, pulmonary rehabilitation program to teach breathing exercises and techniques, supplemental oxygen, Nutrition therapy. Surgery. Lung volume reduction surgery, where small wedges of damaged lung tissue are removed. Lung transplant in severe cases of lung damage and where other options have failed. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.